I'm going to try and explain this workaround as best as I can, since there is no official way of turning off salary caps at the main menu when you're trying to create the perfect roster for yourself to head into franchise mode, for example. You'll get trade rejected, the Buccaneers in this example don't have the cap room. Now, for the most part, you can trade a lot of players just back and forth. Here's a shitty player. Give me that amazing player. Like, you can do something like this multiple times. 10, 15, 50 million dollar player versus these half a million dollar players. And you're eventually going to hit a cap. Like, here, we're like negative 9 million for the cap. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the player that we want. And we're going to make him useless. We're going to switch his position to either a punter or a kicker. And then we're going to release him as a free agent, and he's only going to be worth 850000 Alternatively, you can look at some of your players that you don't need anymore, and you can release them and then grab them back. So as you can see, we're editing the player. You can see here that he's worth millions of dollars. Now he's a center. We're going to switch him. Now, sometimes what will end up happening, I'm going to pause my own video here. At the top left, you're going to get sometimes an error that says unsavable. Changing his position isn't going to meet the minimum required amount of positions for this team. If that happens and this guy is, let's say, uh, whatever, a cardinal, you're going to have to trade another one that's on that team. Any position that you have an abundance of and switch it for another center in this case right so that you can switch him to something else right and that you still meet the minimum requirement so if that happens just do that so right here we're going to switch him to a punter or a kicker it does not make a difference from what i've seen it's the same thing and now over here we're going to use the right trigger and we're going to look at this punter that we have just created, if you will. Right? Because we just switched his position. He's probably going to be the worst one because that's not his preferred position, right? So he's going to be right at the bottom there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on him. I'm going to show you his contact information. He's still worth millions of dollars. But when we go back and we release him, which is what I'm about to do right now. Adios, muchachos. Now you can see that he no longer has his uh, team colors behind him on the banner. He's now a free agent. Now when we go to edit the player and we go to contract info, well, he's worth nothing. Everything's been reset. But everybody's worth something when you uh, hire them. You recruit them, whatever word you want to use. So in this case, we saved it. It's kind of weird commenting over my own video. I usually do it in one take, but I wasn't able to. I was too distracted. So save your thing. Make sure you go to sign free agent. You saw that when you back out. Go to sign free agent. Because if you just go to the regular menu and you go to free agent, you're not going to be able to recruit them. Now use your right trigger. Again, look for that guy. He's a punter. Now, I made a mistake here. You want to use your left trigger at the top so you could change the team. Auto otherwise, it's automatically going to think you want it to your favorite team. So I went and I said, no, no, let's do the uh, Buccaneers, Buca Buccaneer, whatever. I'm French. So now when we click on them, it'll say, uh-oh. Uh, this would result in the Buccaneer exceeding the celery, salary, celery, celery, the celery cap. Too many vegetables. And in the unlikely event that this happens, because this normally does help, because now he's not worth millions of dollars. It's an inside joke why I do that really annoying thing. Um, Titus O'Neil, anyways, worldwide, it's a wrestling thing. This, I'm showing you again all the worst case scenarios that, oh my god, this is just not working. So go to manage players, go to your team, go to the Buccaneer. The Buccaneer. Click on somebody you don't need. You don't, you don't need all these high-profile quarterbacks. You just you don't need them. So we're going to look at Aaron Rodgers. And we're going to say, Hasta la vista, biatch. And we're just going to release him. We'll put him on another team after because it would be a waste to leave him as a free agent. 
But now that frees up some of that salary cap action. We're going to save it again. I'm really trying to make this video as short as I can. I really want to show you step by step. Now we're going to go back. See, there's Aaron Rodgers just waiting to go to the Green Bay Packers or whatever. So again, left trigger, Buccaneer, right trigger, select the P. There's Rodney Hudson. Now when we sign him up, what do we get? It worked. Right? Because we freed up some of that room. So this was a little bit of a, of a long video. It's longer than I wanted it to be, to be perfectly honest. But I truly felt this was the best way to explain it. So to recap, the player that you want. Edit his position to a punter or a kicker and then release him from whatever team he's on so he becomes a free agent. Again, in the unlikely event that it says he's unsavable, figure it out. If the guy is a tight end, then find somebody who's not such a tight end. Bad joke. And grab a tight end from another team and switch him for another position, obviously, of a position that you have multiples of that you can afford to free up so that you don't get the error, right? Then when he's a free agent, go and grab him. He's going to be a lot cheaper. Like I said, he's only worth uh, 850000 okay? But, again, somehow, someway, somewhere, you still ain't got the money. Look at your team. I think the salary cap last year for Madden 21 was $210 million. Don't quote me on that. U.S. dollars in the year before that, it was $200 million. So last year, they gave us a little extra wiggle room. I'm not going to lie. I have no fucking idea what the cap is. But it's, you know, around that 200 ish million dollar mark. That's it for the video. If it helped, please give it a thumbs up as it helps me make my channel a little bit more relevant in the search results with that algorithm shit when people are looking stuff up on the internet. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll break it off in your ass. And every single time you go and you swap a player and you release them, they don't become a free agent. They end up on my team. I poach him. Okay? Don't ask me what that was. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, obviously that would be fantastic. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. Maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.